Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hankster's Hot Rods, and what we have for you today is this beautiful 63 Chevy Nova. And what we're going to do is do a walk around on it, go over the exterior features of the car, um, as we normally do, starting at the front. First thing you notice is the paint. It is red and very nice red. The paint on this car is very shiny, got a really nice gloss on it, and you'll see that as we walk around. Um, also, you notice down here at the wheels, you do have the VFG Radio TA raised white letter tires with the uh, steel rally wheels with the center caps and muter rings on it. 14's in the front, 15's in the back. Next thing, our first gap driver's side. Fender to door. Very even going down. Body lines, as you'll see, line right up there. And we do have the chrome rocker molding on both sides. Um, our windshield pad, um, driver's side, no chips and cracks, nor our driver's side glass here, no chips and cracks, and slightly tinted. Our bright work on the car is in great shape. You do have a couple scratches here and there, um, which as we expected, as I always say, uh, but it is overall great condition. Uh, coming on back here, as you can see our roof, our paint down the side here is in great shape. Uh, we're going to do our second gap. Driver's side, quarter to door. Very even going down. You can see our body line here. Very close to each other, very nice. Uh, what we're going to do now is open up the driver's side door and let you see the interior from this point of view. You can see the door jams are very nice. Buckets in the front, vinyl. Uh, the door uh, panels, seats, dash are all in great condition. Uh, carpet is in great shape. You do have the uh, B&M shifter on the floor for the 700R4 transmission. You have the three uh, gauge pod there. Very nice interior. I like the wood uh, ring on the steering wheel. <laughs> Moving along here, coming back. Um, one thing here I will address here, our fuel cap here. This is actually decorative. Um, the fill is now in the truck, so you don't have to worry about gas uh, ruining your paint there. And we'll show you that as we open up the trunk here in a moment. Our back glass, no chips and cracks in that, in great condition. All the glass on this car is very clear. And the bright work back here is also very nice. Our trunk gap, nice and even on our sides and in the back. Coming around to the back here, our trim here is in great condition. And as is our emblems, our rear bumper chrome is also in great shape. You see you do have the dual chrome tip for the exhaust sticking out the back down there as well. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the uh, trunk here and we'll go over everything in here. As you can see under the hood it is body color. Our weather stripping is intact the whole way around. Um, our jams, no rust or anything in our jams there. Um, inside the floor here, um, you got your drains, you got all your indentations all through the floor. Um, you got your hookups back for your jack and spare and so on. Um, great shape on the floor here. Um, here is your fuel fill. That's where you put your gas in, right here. Move it along. Coming around to the side here. Again, the paint is in great shape and the body is very straight on this car and the paint is super glossy. Coming along, our bright work on the passenger side, also in great shape. Um, our glass, no chips and cracks and also slightly tinted. Our first gap passenger side quarter to door. Again, very even going down. You see our body line there? They're lining right up very nicely. Uh, what I'm going to do now is open up the passenger side door, let you see the interior from this point of view. See our door jams there, very nice. Get a great view of the seats from this side, the floor, the dash, all in great condition. And of course that B&M shifter down there. Moving along. Our second gap passenger side, door defender. Very even going down. Again, there's that chrome rocker molding. There's our body line there. And there lines up very nicely. Our passenger side of the windshield, no chips and cracks, and again, the glass on this car is very clear, very nice condition. Um, the hood gapping is very nice. This is a steel hood, two inch cow. Coming around to the front here, um, 
Our trim here, now that does have some patina in it, but in great shape. The grill is in great condition. I don't see any dents or pieces missing in the grill. The bumper chrome is very nice. Very nice chrome on the bumper there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is open up the hood. As you will notice, it does have hood pins. I'm going to take those out. Just set these down for a moment. And then I'm going to pop the hood here. Um, as I said, this is a steel hood, cow induction. Um, body color under the hood. Under here, you got a lot of decorative things. We do have the carbon fiber wrapping put on our aprons here and over our rad support, as you can see, very nice. Gives a little bit of a sporty look there. Um, got the off and the red top battery. We do have the aluminum uh, radiator in this vehicle. We do have a 350 Chevrolet small block engine. Um, we do have the uh, exhaust headers. We got the chrome polished intake, the Holly four barrel carb. And then you got the aluminum valve covers with the indentations painted just like the engine air cleaner. Um, we got power steering, manual brakes. It's a dual reservoir manual, but it is manual brakes. Um, very nice package here. We do have the, as you may not be able to see here, we do have the electric fan. So a little more uh, horsepower to work with. Of course, uh, this one runs very well. Uh, what we're going to do now, guys, put it up in the air and we're going to go over the undercarriage. Hey guys, we got our 63 Nova up in the air. We're going to go through the undercarriage as we normally do. And as we normally do, starting at the front, suspension and steering components look to be of a stock style. Trolling look to be of a stock style. Um, we do have disc brakes on the front of this vehicle and drum on the back. Um, our front cross member here is nice and solid. I'll we'll see it holds rust in that. We do have a front sway bar on this vehicle as well. Um, our oil pan on our 350. Um, which is a custom oil pan. You see it's got the added sump here uh, for a uh, higher oil capacity. Um, our rear main seal, our transmission pan on our 700 R4 transmission, automatic transmission, and our output seal on the transmission all nice and dry. I don't see any leaks on there anyway. Um, our transmission cross member, I don't see any holes or anything in that either. Um, our front frame sections. Those look good there. Um, we do have dual exhaust on this vehicle. We got uh, hooker long tube headers uh, coming in here down into an X pipe into the uh, MagnaFlow mufflers, which we'll go over as we get back there further. Um, We do have our e-brake cables there. Our floor is in very nice shape here on this vehicle. You still got your crossbars here, um, your mounting brackets, your uh, embossments there, and your indentations, your drains. And that is on both sides. They all look really good. I'm um, all painted. Um, looks really nice, looks structurally uh, very nice under here. Um, coming back. To the back here, uh, here is the uh, stainless MagnaFlow mufflers I had mentioned. Uh, you've got two of those. The exhaust goes up over the axle, around the fuel tank and leaf springs, and out the back in the chrome tips on either side of the leaf springs. Um, our leaf spring mounts. Front and back. Look good. Our rear frame sections. Look good. Um, we have a 10 volt rear differential in this vehicle. Our rear seal for our differential cover and our input seal look really good there. Uh, no leaks there either. Um, we do have, as I had said, leaf spring suspension on the back of the vehicle with air shocks. So you do have the adjustable air shocks here. Um, drum brakes, as I had mentioned. Our fuel tank straps, mounting points are good there. And there. And the straps do look intact, look good there. Um, our flooring above our rear differential, that does look really good there, all looks nice. 
Looks good there as well. You got your drains here, your trunk area. All in all, looks pretty good under here. What we're going to do now, guys, is drop down, start it up so you can hear it run.